Hi guys, welcome to day 261 of the big vlog. I decided to do a, a different shot for you today in front of a nice corner of my front room where I have a lamp and my other half's collection of um, DVDs and CDs. Now, um, today is Saturday and today is a day where I'm going to be going to finish off looking at the shooting script for my new project that I mentioned yesterday. But one thing I wanted to mention one thing, one thing, just one thing, not two things, but one thing, was Steven Seagal. Because I don't think I've actually mentioned Steven Seagal in any of my vlogs this year. Don't think so. But basically, I wanted to say that Steven Seagal, I have a, a lot of respect for Steven Seagal as a martial artist and also as a movie star in the 80s when he only made about two films. Because after the 80s and after 1992, to be fair, his films got a little bit shit. Now, I don't know what went on with Steven Seagal, why he, he, he fell from grace so much, but let's face it, the first couple of his films are brilliant, okay? They're the kind of Seagal films you want to watch over and over again. It's him being a badass, him um, basically taking on people with ease and just kicking living bells out of them. Um, you know, as, a, as an action martial arts slash film, brilliant. Story's there, it's written. Good guy, lots of bad guys. That's all you need, okay? As, a, as an action film. So, what happened, Stephen? What happened? I don't know, Stair. I don't know. But I will always have a, a special place in the old snare heart for Steven Seagal because I'm always hoping that his next film is going to be better. I know, it's a silly thing to hope for. But I managed to actually see Steven Seagal in my own hometown when he came to play with uh, his band Mojo Priest or some guys that were called Mojo Priest playing blues stuff uh, at the Brook in Southampton which is a kind of a venue. It was amazing because I got to see Seagal really close up you know and the guy was out of shape yes and I can now see that every time he produces a new film um, his face is completely utterly airbrushed. I mean, this was when he was 30. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, 30. This was 20 years ago. He still looks like that on the front of his DVDs. But I just wanted to mention Steve Skull because I've never mentioned him in one of my vlogs before, and for you guys to know who, I'm, who I am and who I'm about, you need to know this stuff, because it's important. But I don't know what you guys think of Steve Skull, whether you just think he's a big fat waste of space, or he's a, a genius. Um, I don't know, so just uh, just let us know what you think about Steven Seagal. That'd be good. Right, I'm off to go and finish uh, writing the uh, shooting script and working on my film project today, so I'm going to cut it short there. You are the stair and you have been, so uh, until tomorrow, goodbye. Mm -hmm.